Kicking the bike. Metal He's kicking his bike. He's mad. That thing's a bitch. If you're, if that thing's just a little too tall and you can't reach the ground on that climb, you're fucked. I rode Eric. I rode Andy Little's uh, XC350. Uh -huh. I really liked it. Yeah. It's just a little bit more compact a bike. It's like perfect for me. This bike's just a little too tall. I can't touch the fucking ground on this piece of shit. I know. So fucking tall. Front comes up a little bit, I got nothing. Watch out, don't fall on that thing. <laughs> well, we aren't riding Wednesday. I'm not fucking riding this piece of shit ever again. Ever again. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to throw this off a fucking cliff. Yeah. I would be better off riding a 1983 XR200 than this piece of shit. My wife's got a TTR 125. Better than this shit. Yeah, I, I was watching you struggle like a it's, motherfucker back there. I'm going half speed and I can't keep the bike in control. Half fucking speed. Yeah. As soon as one little rock this big gets underneath the back tire, bounces your ass end up, front end does something stupid, you just, there's no controlling this bike. Steering damper's off. Like reduce it's the- It's on light. Yeah. Put, put it as light as it can, oops, can possibly go. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I've, I've never been on such a poorly designed geometry bike in my life. <laughs> never.